Tiger Aggregation is one of the major theaters of LTE Advanced, which allows mobile network operators to combine a number of LTE carriers for enhanced peak user data rates and overall capacity. LTE Carrier Aggregation squeezes network capacity and helps exploiting fragmented spectrum allocations. In consequence, an accurate OTA testing for LTE Carrier Aggregation is certainly needed. In this video, we will measure the OTA throughput of a DUT with 3GPP Category 12 using 4 aggregated LTE carrier components in a 2x2 MIMO implementation scheme. The key aspect behind LTE Advanced is carrier aggregation. Essentially, this technology is designed to multiply the bandwidth of an LTE connection by allowing devices to download data from multiple network bands in a simultaneous manner. LTE component carriers, or bands, are split up into data carrying parts that can have a bandwidth of 1.4, 3, 5, 10, 15 or 20 MHz each. Carrier aggregation combines signals from these different carriers, allowing for bandwidths of up to 100 MHz for a single connection. Different 3GPP UE categories specify the performance capabilities of a device in terms of maximum supported data rates, MIMO capabilities, and supported modulation schemes. With 3GPP release 11, four new categories were approved. In this video, we will test an UE category 12, which can achieve a maximum data rate of 600 megabytes per second by using four component carriers, 64 QAM modulation scheme, and a MIMO 2x2 architecture. For LTE carrier aggregation OTA testing, we will use our E500 medium size reverberation chamber with a control PC running our intuitive MIMO Analyzer graphic user interface software. The computer is connected to the chamber by an USB cable. An Aritsu MT8821C E B emulator will be used as an example and connected to the E500 front panel using RF cables for the first, second, third and fourth carrier components and for the uplink communication. The Anrixu box can be controlled through either an Ethernet connection to the control PC or a GPIV connection to the back panel of the chamber. Other e b emulator alternatives like Rotten Swart CMW or Keysight UXM are also possible. Once everything is connected, the test system is ready to be used. Run the MIMO Analyzer Key software and select the active MIMO OTA measurements main window. Select the LTE carrier aggregation standard and set the specific band and channel to be tested for the primary component carrier. Next, click on the figure of merit to be measured, throughput in this example. Right click on the test added to enter the properties and configure the secondary carriers. In the General Setting tab, select the number of secondary carriers to be aggregated, 3 in this example. Then, enter the connection setup to configure the band, channel and bandwidth for the secondary carriers. In this test, we will use band 3, 7, 20 and 1 with 64 QAM modulation and 20 MHz channel bandwidths. Click Apply to save the test configuration. Note the test and batch of tests can be prepared and saved for simple loading in the future. Click Next to proceed. A summary of the test is depicted for use confirmation. Click on Next to start the testing process. The OTA test system will be first initialized and auxiliary equipment properly configured. A DUT attachment window will pop up for the first and only time. Touching the DUT to the test network is an easy task with EMI test systems. Simply have the correct test SIM card on the device, turn on the device on the test and place it on the turntable inside the chamber. It will get connected within seconds. Once connected, click Run to command the system to run the measurement for you in a fully automated manner.
a warming up message will appear, indicating the OTA test is about to start. This period of time is useful to warming up devices to the same start temperature level for more accurate comparison purposes. All carrier components are measured simultaneously and displayed in real time. As downlink power is decreased, throughput eventually decreases and it does it differently for the four carrier components, with a specific effect on overall throughput response of the device. The test has to run for a number of times to collect a sufficiently large sample ensemble, and each time a new sample is measured, a modified final average throughput value are depicted in green color. The test sample being measured appears in red color. Both regular and downlink power inverse throughput averaging are available. During measurements, both turntable and steerers move in order to improve repeatability. During the test, small cut drop and network attachment algorithms ensure a smooth and fully automatic test, allowing the EMI test systems to operate overnight with no human supervision. Smart handover is also employed for running a batch of tests also unsupervised, ensuring that any technology, band, channel or figure of merit can be tested on the same batch. Check out our white papers on technical specifications at our webpage or YouTube channel and start designing your future with EMI test systems. Testing LTE Advanced Carrier Aggregation OTA figure of merit like TRP TIS or throughput has never been so easy. New test cases like MIMO throughput sensitivity or MIMO to transmitted diversity threshold or more complex schemes like 256QIM or 4x4 are also readily available. Ensure or verify a proper device operation in LTE advanced carrier aggregation with EMI test systems. Your carrier aggregation OTA wishes made true.